Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro, you will see and hear in just a moment, and I'm Mike Emery. The Leafs up against the Buffalo Sabres. What stands out to you with this matchup? Well, how close it is between Toronto and Buffalo, Doc. 90 miles, 145 kilometers for our Canadian fans. But to me, that's what makes this rivalry so special. You have Maple Leaf fans in Buffalo country, and you have Sabre fans in Toronto country. Here we are in Toronto, a very tough ticket on any night, but when you play one of your arch rivals, it's even tougher. But I am very impressed with all the Buffalo Sabre fans who found their way into the building. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Frederick Anderson on the heels of the Jennings Trophy share with the Ducks' John Gibson. He came in a trade to Toronto, where he represents the Leafs' solid hope for the future. Hutton's the other union representative from the goalies for the Sabres. And the opening faceoff is here. And who will get in the first big hit? Often that triggers thoughts of rivalry games past. Let's see. Backhander to the net. A big, big hit. Reinhardt's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams are going to want to get on the body, but he wants his club to have the upper hand. Got it in his own end. Moving it to Marner. Just great positional play. Can start the attack going in the zone. On Garistalina. Quick shot. Turned away with the stick. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Terrific determination by Kadri. Wonderful stop. Play stopped. It's Ray Ferraro time. The Sabres and the Leafs are too close geographically to think that they're not going to be rivals. They have battled each other since the early 70s. Okay, Ray, thank you. The Leafs get the draw. Fires! He scores! Didn't take long. Crowd celebrates 1-0. Always interesting, guys, after the first goal is scored, whether the team that scored is going to continue to attack or whether they'll sit back a little bit. Toronto's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Gains that offensive line. Let's it go. Solid glove save. Austin Matthews. Time of the goal. Four minutes, 21 seconds. We're just under five minutes gone in this period. Toronto's got the lead, 1-0. They won that draw. Oh, broke it up. Hammers one. Save. In with it now. Gives it to the point. Oh, snaps a shot. Great save. Snapping a pass to Kadri. He regathered it. Save there. Pitching it to Rodriguez. The Sabres skated up on the side. He's got it. Directing that one to Matthews. A slot wrister. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Gives it over to the point. Gets that one on a cross. Lid to Pominville. Intercepted that one at an important place. Hammers one. Oh, what a save. Laid on to Pominville. Got to kill some time here and get a breather for some. They drop it back in, and the forwards are able to get to the bench. Chip, there is Delaney. 
He pulled it right back. Makes that play deep. There's a hooking call on this play, but he keeps going. Skates it into the zone. Robbery there. What a ripper from the point. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Buffalo's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Maple Leafs are activating their power play unit for the first time. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. The Maple Leafs will play it from their own end on this power play. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Back on his stick. Went to the backhand. Made that work for him in goal. Cleared it out of there. And they've got it again. Looking to Marner. Let's it go. Swept aside. Holds on and gets that whistle. That's not really a scoring chance. It's a puck to the net. The goalie gets to handle it and stop it, but not a challenging stop at all. Defensive zone win. Got it back out of the zone. Buffalo's good on that penalty kill, so we're back even. Well, that was the power play that you could show to the players tomorrow and say, this is what you don't do. That power play was brutal. Goes back deep for it. Now it's directed to Brown. Oh, my, what a hit. The coaches have been on their team to be on the body here tonight. I can hear it on both benches. However, nobody has really thrown many hits. Fires. Say. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Hutton's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. With a blast and a save. Got it at the point. Tripped up on the play and there will be a penalty. And now after that period of time we get the whistle and the penalty call. Bogosian's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. The Leafs' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power play, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. The Sabres shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Brings it in for an attack. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. Pass attempt to Marner. Fires. Terrific grab with the glove. Puck is thrown to Larson. That puck tipped into the bench area. They can't play it there. Wouldn't it be something if they could? Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Thrown right back to the opposite corner. Toronto's in possession and moving up the wing. The Sabres have killed off the penalty, and so we're back at full strength. Well, they didn't get much done there, and that was a key opportunity for them. They had trouble getting the puck to the net. It seemed like when they shot it, they didn't have enough people getting to the net at the right time. 
20 minutes are in the books. And so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. Only one goal scored and two periods yet to go. Take a look at the shots on goal. A lopsided total. A whopping 16 for Toronto and three for Buffalo. Limited edition team prints are available tonight at your team store. Zaitsev's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The Sabres are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Period two has begun. Let's see what happens here. Drives it. Say. He's kept his team close, given them an opportunity to stay in this game. You can't ask much more than that. Masterful save of an overwhelming one-time shot. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Good shooting place. Turned away with a stick. Guided to Tavares. Didn't get a thing of that. Pitching this one to Reinhardt. Into the attacking end. And thrown down to Sherry. Feeds the point. Propelled to Sherry. Puck picked up here. He knocked it in himself. It's in the net. It counts. Anderson's unsure as well. I mean, the puck just kind of leaks through him. Odd goal. Buffalo's got this game tied. We're early in the second period. So let's see what gives now. The Sabres with a center ice face-off win. He steps in from the neutral zone. On the outside, a shot. Use that big goalie stick well. Good place to shoot from. Wonderful stop. The Sabres with a neutral zone possession along the way. Points it. A long scorcher. At least he protected his goaltender. And down to Rodriguez. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Passing one off now to Brown. Smart recovery by Bogosian. Sent that pass on ahead. Is able to move on in. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Heaves one. He scores! <laughs> going to be huge. This game has been tied and hard fought. The Leafs are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. Toronto's got another face-off win. Alone! They score! And they've tied the game up!
It's felt at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand. Doesn't matter anymore. We're back to 0-0. A little under eight minutes skated here in the second. We are at two goals apiece. The Sabres control from the faceoff. To Eichel. Eichel's nice playing with a lot of confidence. He's looking for the hat trick. He's already got two in this game. Chuck, terrific save, terrific opportunity. You got to think that's a game-changing save there. Trying to go to Eichel. Outlet up the middle to Bogosian. Didn't drag it very well there. Loose puck. Moving it to Hyman. And he gains the zone. From the slot of Rister. Score! Oh, what bad luck for one team. What great luck for another. Gotta hurt. That's an old goal off his own foot into the net behind his goaltender. The Maple Leafs are ahead by one. It's no surprise they've been pounding away with the shots. Toronto's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Scooped up by Pollard. Nine minutes, 54 seconds. Strong wrister, not on the net. Oh, he was trying to be too cute with that shot. You cannot miss the net that badly. Snapping a pass to Sabotka. Nice work by Marlowe. Pitching it to Tavares. Oh, did he ever get mashed? I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Smart recovery by Hunway. Tremendous hit. Tavares doesn't step back at all. He goes right through him. A skilled player not afraid to throw his weight around. Toronto's in control of the puck up the wing. A one-timer. Oh, and he misses. He can't miss by a much smaller margin than that. He rifled it just wide of the net. Great save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Tavares delivers a perfect hit. Lays out his opponent. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Gains the zone. He's got that point pass. Puts one on. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Directing that one to Matthews. Using the point, he's got it. Big drive! Terrific shot, but a denial. Buffalo's in possession now as they move up the wing. Fires a shot. Slot shot. That was a great play and goal. The shooter thought he had some space, but the goalie flashes the level. What a great glove save. Carries it on in from center. That puck struck him in front. Save there. Ristolainen's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Sabres lug that along up the wing. Extra man over the boards on this delayed penalty call. Got a piece of it. Toronto's given a minor here for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Buffalo's power play unit gets its first opportunity. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. 17 minutes, 39 seconds. Fires. Great glove grab. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Sticked away. Oh, that was hard to follow. The Sabres waiting back in their own end. 
on Garistolina. Let's it rip. Say. Reinhardt's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Let's a shot go. Score! No goal. The referee waves this off. Might have been hit by a high stick. We'll see. Well, the team that scored the goal, Doc, started celebrating. And now they're going to review this. They're going to go upstairs and see if this was a legal goal or not. No support for the officials from this home crowd. They're not very happy. Buffalo has gotten it all even here, and we still have lots of time left, including an entire third period. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. That's terrific goaltending. The goalie puts that mitt to use and takes it away. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 27 for the Maple Leafs and 14 for the Sabres. We'll be back in just a moment. Discounts on team merchandise and team ring zones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. The Maple Leafs will start out this period on the penalty kill. That one is pointed to him. Stole that pass away in his own end. Right into the slot. Nearly grazed the iron on that. That's a tough one to watch. Need to practice hitting the net. Skill play by Cadre. Save! Toronto's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. I really like the way they had their power play set up. They moved the puck quickly. They forced the penalty killers into a little bit of a scramble mode. They just couldn't find a way to score. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Glove save, trapper save, doesn't matter. Now, that was great. Loud pad save. Looking to Eichel. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Has that pass off the boards. Shoots one. Off a of body. And he steps in. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Slid back across from one point to the other. He loads it up. Takes it right back. Glides along the line. And now it's directed to Matthews. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Right in that catching glove. Good work. Well, that's not challenging in the least. The goaltender's able to make the stop. He's got a clean line to see it. There's no challenge there. A little over five minutes have passed. Both teams with three. That's our score. Buffalo's got a face-off win. The Sabres are skating it up in neutral ice. And he dumps it in. Pass attempt to Marner. And he steps across the line. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Buffalo's carrying it in their own zone. Carried on, dumped in. Player changes, this time just the forwards. Puck is thrown to Tavares. Crosses that line. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Back in his defensive end to get it. Larson's tripped, and a penalty should be coming. 
Coley to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Fires! Took that right away. When you're screened like that, you just have to hope it hits you. The Leafs have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Buffalo's power play has been strong. They have connected once. Let's see if they can make it twice on this power play. Solid, clean win. Driving in from no man's land. Oh, broke it up. Slides it to the point. A shot. That shot came from right in front. And yet another save. How does he do that? Centers. Pass to the blue line, and he gets it back. Faces up to the point. Great defense. Dogged determination there by Kadri. With a shot, he scores! A great job of penalty killing and follow through the shorthanded goal. This shorthanded goal is all about effort. They worked hard, they earned this goal, and now they have the lead, even though they still have to kill off a few more moments of the power play. The Maple Leafs are ahead in this game by one, and the clock shows not that much time to go in the third period. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? The Sabres power play let them down at a very important time. Terrific point-blank save. That was an impressive glove save, Doc. The shooter was right in the slot, but the netminer stared him down. Over nine minutes to go in the third. Toronto's recently broken the tie. Their lead is one. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. He's in on an onside play. Missed on that. Terrific determination by Oposa. Well, there's been no shortage of goals here tonight as this one winds down. We've seen some pretty terrific goals and some that haven't been so great as well. But there has been a big number on the board, it seems, almost since the early part of the first period. Stick to side. Matthews loves to play that heavy hockey. Watch how low he gets and delivers this hit. The Sabres win that faceoff. Gets across, looks over his options. Score! Two straight goals. gotten a huge goal. Now a little breathing room in the third period. The advantage is two, but the adrenaline will probably start to flow from the other side. Took that away in his own zone. Pitching this one to Reinhardt. Steps across that line. Outstanding save. Just a bit under six minutes remaining here in the third. The Maple Leafs have gotten five goals, and that's a shock. They lead 5-3. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Fantastic shutdown. Good position in the slot. Passing one off now to Eichel. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Buffalo's two-minute penalty is a minor and the call is hooking. 
The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Turned away with a stick. It's dumped in. Trying to go to Matthews. Toronto's looking to head man up the wing. A chance to clear. Taken up near the boards by Larson. And he dumps it in. The Leafs controlling play now in their own end. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Toronto's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. They continually step on their own toes here as they take penalty after penalty. They're trying to come back in the third period, but they've spent most of their time killing penalties. Moving it to Tavares. One minute left. The Leafs with possession up the wing. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. That's a marvelous save. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Shoots one. Good save there. A shot. What a save! And he gains the zone. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. The Sabres yank their goalie to try and get this back. Leads net empty. Score! <laughs> got the goal and this game is over time to go home the empty netter will wrap this thing up the maple leafs control from the neutral zone cadre's tripped up that should be a penalty not much in doubt about the outcome, but there will be another penalty handed out. The Sabres are boxed on a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Buffalo penalty to number four. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Great work with the stick. Here's a one-timer. Oh, and it's off the mark. Sometimes you rush the shot and end up missing the net. Need to slow things down next time. He gains the zone. Good shooting place. Save. The horn signals the end of this one. The Sabres saw the ice tilted every 20 minutes in this one, and they went tumbling back to the boards. My goodness. Right from the start, the extra effort to be skating and getting people and pucks towards that net. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.